Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. There we go. So, we are out here um, getting ready to cut the um, poles and get them in the ground for the uh, chicken coop here. We already got one hole out and another one there, another one over there, and another one there. So, we're getting the corner post cut right now on the workhorses over there. So, we are um, trying to get this started and as you can see we are losing sunlight as always. So y'all stay tuned, y'all see what we do next, okay? That don't look even. In fact, it's not even. That's okay. I'll make it even. It might be a little too close to me. I'll make it even in the ground, so I ain't worried about it. We're framing this out, we're getting it leveled, I mean we're getting it square, and we're bracing our corners to make sure we stay square. This is 16 by 16. All right, so just to show y'all what we've done so far, um, we've um, carved out the space as I showed you before. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we've carved out, the, carved out the space, and then we used our square to make sure that our angles were straight. Um, like I said, we're not professionals. <laughs> we are just doing what we know to do, which is... Um, what we've studied so we've gotten our corners together and we've uh, screwed the uh, ends together of course we pre-drilled our holes and then we used some old scrap wood just to brace it um, until we get everything together and leveled and make sure that we are 16 across um, make sure that our uh, measurements are correct going each direction and diagonally here so everything should add up once we get it leveled and or squared up and level make sure we get it squared up and level that's right so that's what we're doing yeah. all right so y'all stick around we're getting ready to uh brace the centers here with uh, sections of uh two by twos i mean well you know what i'm saying two foot sections of a two by four so that's what we're getting ready to do right now. Y'all stay tuned. All 
about to go out here and get started. Now, I had to change clothes. <laughs> it's got hot out here. I put on another one of Mr. Homestead Hart's little uh, sweatshirt types of things with no sleeves. He's always getting on to me about <laughs> putting on all his clothes. So I know he's going to say, you got on another one of my shirts? I'm like, well, it's not really a real shirt, real shirt. <laughs> Alright, just to kind of recap what we've done. Oh yeah, y'all, we got some more brush. <laughs> uh, oh wow, that looks great. We've been clearing that. That's the growing field that we've started to clear back there. But let me give you, let me show y'all what we, we've done so far in the chicken coop. We scratched the plans about um, putting the cinder blocks through the 4x4 four four post. We just scratched it. So we got the 4x4 four post, four post in and the 2x4s um, the, uh, are screwed into that. We changed the screws from to... Uh, four inch screws we had a smaller screw in there and we were like hey that's not gonna work <laughs> so we bought some four inch screws and put those in um, but anyway we made sure that this was um, squared our measurements from uh, one angle to this angle and then from that corner back there to this corner right here the measurements were spot on and we made sure that it was leveled all the way around because the ground is so uneven it might not look like it's leveled but there's something crawling on me but it is so that's where we are right now so now we're getting ready to start with um, framing up our wall our walls and we're doing one wall at a time and I will go over with you what that is about to look like um, so yeah as you can see how those posts are and we got it braced in the center with a two foot piece of um, two by four connecting those two pieces together because why didn't we just buy a 16 foot board I don't know I wasn't thinking, I guess, um, when we went to do it. So I'm like, well, we got what we got. So may as well just work with what we got now. Um, and so as you can see, we have a brace like that on all four sides. All four sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's what our foundation looks like. It's good and sturdy and strong. But anyway... Um, so we got that all together on the inside. Now, the first four feet of this is going to be an inside porch. So when you walk in, I'm going to have a plywood floor down four feet in width and uh, 16 feet long. That's going to be my porch where I put my brooder and feed and all of that. So what we're going to end up doing is coming back, going four foot in with some post in the ground to put our plywood on. So when I walk in, I'll be standing on the porch. And then what we're gonna do is build up the rest of this with wood chips. We're gonna build it up to my floor with the wood chips. So that's what they're gonna have. We're not putting a floor in here this is going to be a, um, a chicken coop that serves two purposes. You know, their poop is going to be used to compost the area, to um, add compost to my garden. So that's what's going to happen with that. All of this is going to be wood chips back here. Just piles and piles of wood chips. And that way, you know, all I have to do is come in here and, and add wood chips on top of it. But I'm probably going to start off with a good six inches of wood chips and keep going. Now, before we get started on the coop, give y'all a preview. This area right here where all of this brush was, a lot of it has been pulled up. 
and um, we're clearing all of this out because this is going to be where our big garden is going to be and uh, yeah we got a lot of work to do over here to get it all clear the ground is like super soft too it's really soft and so we are going to be uh, adding some uh, wood chips out here we're going to we're going to do a back to Eden. Um, I don't like to call it a garden method because that's the way the creator has been doing it since the beginning of time. You know, he's always mulched the earth, whether it was with leaves or fallen limbs. All of those things would end up breaking down and composting and just rebuilding the soil. So it's not a new method. That's just the way it has always been. Now, enough about that for now. But anyway, um, so this is gonna be our growing field and we're gonna take it back even further, but we'll get more into that at a later time. Right now, we got a chicken coop to build. And I'm gonna show you something. The ground is so unleveled here that, Jack's back there, I don't know what he'd be doing. The ground is so unlevel, I need to uncover my strawberries too, y'all. See them? Let me uncover these babies. But the ground is so unlevel, I had to bring my studs over here to where the ground was a little more leveled. And this is the area that I'm going to be kind of working in here to get my walls built. And then we'll carry them over there um, to position them in place, okay? Strawberries. You know, stuff you have to do to protect your plants and stuff. <laughs> Hello. this plastic did the job. Wow, say it did its job. Oh, y'all all sideways. Ooh, it's hot under here too, y'all. Like an oven. All right, now they can get some air. I'm probably going to be taking these out, putting them in pots, getting them potted up so I can transplant them in different areas because this is a lot for that one little space. All right, y'all, stay tuned.